If I'd won three times, I'm probably still annoying people to death. I'm probably still, you know, every night at dinner, I'm like, well, when I was on Jeopardy, let me tell you about game two. Yes, Ken, you always talk about game two. You know, I'm sure I'd be insufferable even with three games because, you know, what a highlight. Ken. Who's Aristophanes? Ken. What's the Trojan horse? Ken. Who's Jean Lafitte? Ken. What's the dodo? Ken. What is Stella? Ken Jennings. I mean, Jeopardy just changed everything about my life. When I was on the show, I was just a, like a computer programmer and I wasn't really good at it. I wasn't super happy. I was talking about going to law school. Like I had no idea what I was gonna do. I'm a writer now full time. You know, most of my day is writing now. I, I just finished writing this series of children's books, these junior genius guides for kids. And those were super fun. I used to love little books of facts when I was a kid. And it's so exciting when I you know, get a letter from a kid who's reading the... Sorry, it has taken me a while to write back, Mr. Jennings. I hope you had a good Valentine's Day. And I hope you had a good St. Patrick's Day and Easter. So, so he's keeping up with me. Maybe we can even be pen pals. And then he drew the Jeopardy logo. Yeah, if it's made me a better father, it's just the time I have now, you know? Um, like just the, the making time for your, for your family is just so hard for so many people because of the high stress world. And it's just a luxury most people don't have. And I feel you know, so grateful to you know, the game show that changed my life. I mean, this, this is, the whole house is the house that uh, Jeopardy built. Um, there's no way we could have afforded a house in Seattle, period. So that's it, kids. That's how you achieve your dreams. I think about this a lot. It actually makes me more confident in a lot of ways. You know, having some childhood dream, like maybe I could be on Jeopardy someday, and then actually getting to do that, that really changes who you are. You know, you think, wait, if I have goals and like dreams and stuff, like maybe if I work with them, they'll happen, yeah. My books actually for sale in an actual bookstore. Touching moment for an author. And then the self-help section too, apparently. Travel lit. Who knew? And it really is because of Jeopardy, you know? I, I said yes, and it was a crazy good time. And a lot of the stuff I've been able to do since has been really fun too. Honor, I was uh, tweeting about the Seahawks a couple seasons ago, and Microsoft, out of the blue, just said, hey, why don't you go uh, watch, the, watch them in the Super Bowl? Going to Athens this year with Team USA for the first international quiz Olympiad, and we get uniforms, like the real Olympics. I'm really glad I got to embrace like that trivia nerd part of myself that I was maybe a little bit embarrassed about. You know, I was sort of in the closet about being that know-it-all kid. And, and now everybody knows. And I've, I've run with that because that's who I am. It's true. There's, there's, you don't have to be embarrassed about knowing a lot of stuff. It doesn't really matter what I do for the next 50 years of my life. You know, I, I peaked at 30. You know, my tombstone's gonna say that Jeopardy guy. That meant a lot to me, and it's, it's still a very, that, um, that amazing summer, that's a very special memory to me. And uh, I couldn't be prouder to be associated with Jeopardy. Mm -hmm.